I think you have your stomachs filled up with great food. Uh, so with that energy, can I have another good afternoon, which is much more enlightening and much more powerful? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much. Because I still haven't had my lunch. So, <laughs> and uh, I will have it later, yeah? Okay, so I'm Shruti Sukhvaikar here from Pune. And uh, it is always amazing to be on this platform of uh, All Ladies League and uh, Women Economic Forum. And uh, I have also been to Hague and London. And uh, that was uh, another journey which I have taken. And um, to be very honest, I had never thought that I will go abroad for my um, venturing or for my uh, challenges through my own self-limiting beliefs that I have been into. And uh, literally, I changed myself and the topic here which says reinventing yourself. I have been reinventing myself every minute, every hour, and every day, and every month. Uh, and that is what is the journey of any woman, I think. The newcomers, yes, please join in. Feel free to join in, no, no worries. You can have a seat here. So, finally we got the third speaker. Okay, so the quorum is full now. Yeah. So we are going to have 15 minutes for each speaker. Yes, exactly. So I will, I will now. Sure. Okay. Okay. So my uh, topic, I'm going to share a few things about reinventing um, yourself and coming uh, from there to the soul of healing and covering as much as I can in the 15 minutes that I have. Okay. So there are, um, there was a time in my life when I was. Uh, going through a lot of different phases, a different, uh, performing different roles in my life. I was a good daughter. I was a good daughter-in-law. I was a good mother. I was a good sister. I was a good wife. Uh, and I forgot about who I was actually myself. Uh, so there was a question, uh, who am I? Which was haunting me at some 10 to 12 years ago. And that question brought me to a completely different phase of my life, which I had never ever thought I would be going through. Uh, because basically, I am coming. I come from the a technical background. I am a computer science graduate, and then later on in life, life has shown me different uh, paths. And I have gone into psychology and learning of human mind, uh, which I feel is my passion towards um, the science that I love, because this is science of human mind, which I'm actually dealing with today. And I love doing it every minute of the day, every minute of my journey for the last 10 years. It has been amazing. I've been an entrepreneur for the last 25 years. I've been doing various different kind of jobs, some startups, and uh, I was into various lines of profession. Coming back to the who am I, but doing all this, there was still something which was missing. And I was not able to find out what was missing in the question when I said, who am I? And that I was something which was feeling so stuck up, that I was feeling so suffocated, that I was feeling so burdened, and that I was feeling so suppressed. And I was not able to understand what is the suppression about, what is the suffocation about? What is the burden? And where am I and what am I doing? And for anyone to have, um, you know, there are changes, there are transformations in your life, there is a shift, is if that's the, that's the word that we call it today. The shift in my life happened some 10 years ago when there was a person who actually thought that, yes, she has a potential, there was, I mean, there had been so many people in my life, but nobody probably did not see any spark in me at some given point in time when I needed to know it. And it came pretty late in my life from my career point of view. So today, um, I'm not regretting, but there was a dialogue which I always had that if I had it before 15 years ago, and if I was in this same space some 15 years ago, it would have been wonderful. But then I wouldn't have been standing at the platform of WEF uh, in an annual event here or wouldn't have gone abroad. 
So time is something which is, um, is it's justified. You come to the right time, you come to the right people, and the right people in the right place, and the right opportunities come to you when you are ready for it. That has been my, uh, you know, USP, so I will say the unique success uh, point, which I recently, in one of the, uh, you know, sessions which I attended, so it's supposed to be unique selling point, but unique success uh, you know, point is something where I found out that I want to be there at the right time. So opportunities keep coming to me today. And uh, so from the who am I, I went on and so on and so forth. I have not looked back. The simple logic, uh, there are uh, two young girls here and uh, I know that there is a you know, the huge life in front of you and what is called as life and what is it all about, it's a journey. And people will talk so many things, you know. People will give their own narrations, will give their own experiences because that is what they have and that is their unique area, that is their unique point. Uh, lessons are to be learned. The experiences are to be heard. The lessons out of those experiences will be different for everyone. So that is where you, as youngsters, particularly for the young girls who are sitting here, uh, you will hear so many uh, people, so many women here, men talking as well. The lessons that I learned were totally, totally different than what anyone else has done here. So the first and foremost was believe in yourself. Believe in yourself that you can do it, whatever you can, whatever, whatever simple thing of simply calling up people and telling them what I am doing. Today, when I kept my uh, brochures on the four tables here, that was one of the biggest things probably. This might sound very simple, but I am not able to market myself. I'm not able to tell people what I am doing. That has been one of my biggest challenges in my life. Uh, so social media, digital media scares the hell out of me. But I know that that is what is required in the next gen, in the next five years, 10 years. And I have a coach sitting here, Sukhar, who comes from UK and I was in Hague earlier and we have uh, gone along a long way now and I think we are gonna go a long way. And uh, I'm, I am ready to learn. So point is, opportunities ask and it is given. That is something which Vinda says, ask and it is given. Without asking, nobody is gonna come and give it to you. And believe me, it has happened to me n number of times you have to ask can you help me is there a point where i want to learn this will you help me please don't carry your ego when you are saying something like this because that ego is going to stop the learning process and there is a journey to the learning there is a transformational journey there is a self-learning there is a self reinvention which is to be considered in each and every phase of your life. So please go through this entire process. Take it with your stride. Take it with your pulse. Everyone's pulse rate is different. It may vary from two or three to 10. So get your pulse, understand your pulse, and only go with that rate. Do not rush because someone else has done so many things and you are still there at the same age that person has gone somewhere there and I am still here. There is nothing of that sort because you can be somewhere else where that person would have not dreamt of. So stop comparing yourself with others because you are what you are. You have your unique areas where you are going to perform. All the, each and every person has a unique fingerprint. Your fingerprints cannot be the same across the world. So doesn't that tell you something that nature